up? What is up? We are back in the building. Man, what is going on? Shout out to everybody out there at the corporate station doing what they need to do to survive, man. It is another day we have made it back. Shout out to everybody out there at the corporate station doing what they need to do to survive. Shout out to the homegirl, Shawnee, Philly in the building, Erica, Florida, aka Florida. Shout out to Miss Tanya and Latanya in Arizona. Shout out to shout out to AZ. Shout out to the homegirl, Jerrica, along with all my siblings, everybody in Las Vegas, Nevada. We doing what we need to do. Hey, and shout out to the homegirl, Melina, in North Kakalaka. Man, what's happening? Shout out to my brother, David, for no compromise. Joe's in the building. And shout out to the homeboy, James John Blood. Always making it crack. Always having great advice. Him and David, man. James John Blood and David, man. Those are my elders. Those are my OGs. Man, we about to get into it real quick. You know what I'm saying? And make it do what it do. We got a great topic, man. Eric Adams, destroying the black image. You notice that they're going after a whole lot. A foundation of black Americans. It's just black men. It's black men in general, but especially foundation of black Americans. So we're going to talk about that today. Let's get it. Man, 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 man. Yes. Um. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all think for one second that they're not trying to go out of their way to destroy the black image, y'all crazy. Y'all lost your mind. And the reason why I'm saying that y'all lost your mind is because we have to understand this. They do not want the black image to be looked at in a positive light. So we have to understand that. That's why it's important, like people like Eric Adams and all the rest of these Democratic fools... <clears throat> understand what they're getting themselves into. I'm going to see if we can find some video. To see what they're talking about with Eric Adams. Because they're saying that he is under investigation for a lawsuit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to look for it and see if we can find anything. Okay, here we go. Let's let's see what they're talking about. The future is here. It's called Regina. Future is not playing no. Is that Emmett Smith doing a damn foot commercial? This man that lost his mind. Hold on. Let me against Mayor Eric Adams by a former police colleague. She did file a lawsuit today, and we want to warn you, the details are graphic. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is here to take us through it all. Marsha. Well, Christina Maurice, the bombshell allegations date back to 1993, but the allegations are... 1990 motherfucking three. Man, black folk can't get reparations for slavery, but people are going back 60 years for a sexual assault. Less jaw dropping than when they reportedly happened three decades ago. While well, the Corporation Council calls them outrageous, I have to warn you, they are pretty graphic. And we're taking another big step towards our vision for New York City. Mayor Adams had no idea this morning when he was announcing new funding for electric school buses that he was about to be hit by a suit from a former colleague that could very well throw him under the bus. A woman who worked with Adams when he was a transit cop filed suit charging the mayor with sexual assault, battery, infliction of emotional distress, gender discrimination, retaliation, and sexual harassment. It stemmed from an incident in 1993 when she says she went to him for help with an employment issue because he was president of the Guardians Association, a black police officer's organization. Among the bombshell allegations, Adams told her he would drive her home, but instead took her to a vacant lot. 
He told her he wanted oral sex in exchange for his help. When she refused the suit charges, defendant Adam... Then why didn't you go to the police department before he became the mayor, mayor and said, hey, this guy is a dirty cop, he's a bad cop, and I want charges filed on him and I'm getting an attorney. Why do y'all wait until these people are famous and on TV? Oh, money grab, my bad forcibly pushed plaintiff's hand onto his erect penis and then after she removed her hand masturbated himself to completion and ejaculated on her <laughs> the accusation absolutely did not happen i don't even recall uh who this person is i I've, I've never recalled even meeting them and you know i spent my life protecting people that was the mayor's reaction last november when the woman initially filed a notice of claim under a special new york adult survivors act signed the New York Survivor Act, a.k.a. Go Get a Nigga. In 2022 by Governor Hochul, which provided a one-year window for people to bring lawsuits over sexual assaults that may have occurred decades ago. She filed a notice shortly before the one year was up and filed the detailed charges today. City Corporation Council Sylvia hines Radix issued a statement saying, quote, while we reviewed the complaint, the mayor fully denies these outrageous allegations and the events described here. We expect full vindication in court. The lawyer for the accuser, who now lives in Florida, declined the request for an interview. She said the woman, quote, knew that filing this lawsuit would cause her significant personal... It would cause you significant personal harm, but you would get the bag because he's a foundational black American, and it's an attack on foundational black Americans, and you, will, you know fully what you are doing, and this is a bag grab challenges, but she did so nevertheless because she believes sexual abusers must be held to account no matter who they are. Her fearlessness and quest for justice are as inspiring as they are important. Now the woman is seeking a jury trial and is said to want millions of dollars in damages. Christine Maurice. All right, Marcia, thank you. Well, this is not the only investigation surrounding the mayor. Back in November, we reported when FBI agents seized Adams' iPhones and iPads in what appeared to be part of a corruption investigation into campaign fundraising. That came after the FBI raided the home of his chief campaign fundraiser, Brianna Suggs. It is believed Manhattan prosecutors are looking into whether the campaign, the Adams campaign, conspired with the Turkish government to receive illegal campaign contributions. Adams has said that he has not officially been accused of any wrongdoing. Let's cut the music back on. Let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. It's always an attack on black image. They want to frame this narrative that black folk are the big bad boogeyman. But Donald Trump can say, I just grabbed bitches by the pussy. No problem. What we need to start doing is stop doing the devil's work. Stop talking about you're Republican or you're Democrat until you get tangibles. But what they do is they give you, the field Negro, the best job on the plantation and make you feel like you is so important. And that's why you will, will do whatever master asks you to, you to do because masters give you a very important job. And that's what the problem is. We don't have intrinsic value. We don't have self-esteem. We don't have confidence in our decision making and when we get around other racial groups we adapt to their way and bend to the knee of what they want and we don't have an understanding of what is going on we don't want to read dr claude ennis's black labor white wealth or powernomics what we want to do is we want to chill kick it relax you know what i mean go to work and then chill kick. and i get it we want to do that but we need to understand what we're getting involved in and what are the social game rules reason why I'm saying what are the social game rules is because if you don't know how to play the game, you shouldn't be in it. And it's very, 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 very important that we, as a community, start holding other racial groups accountable like they hold us accountable. I see the attack on foundational black American men. They attack Jonathan Majors. They attack any, anybody that they can. Anybody that they can. It's people that you'll be like, man, what? They try to get Cuba Gooden Jr. That that information wasn't really sticking. Okay, let's find another nigga. I mean, it's almost sickening to watch them do this. Day in and day out and act like our people are deserving of this while everybody else could just bounce rock and roller skate and walk through raindrops while we are getting prosecuted 
like I said before, why is it when we talk about reparations, that happened so long ago, but then somebody could be like 40 years ago, oh, this motherfucker looked at me crazy. That's right. Did he look at you? Did he? Okay, what else did he do? Did he touch you? Did he harm you? And that's exactly what people are going to prison for and getting these bags for. Y'all just making up shit for the most part. A lot of people are just making up stuff. Seeking attention and trying to get a bag. We have to be very weary of this. We have to understand what life is about. We have to understand where we're going. We have to understand, again, the social game rules. We have to understand racism and white supremacy. They are the masters of confusion. I don't personally agree with Eric Adams' political stances because I feel like foundational black Americans should have the political stance of whoever is giving us tangibles. That's what we stand in. You give us those tangibles, we'll move forward with you. What are those tangibles, Warren? Reparations. Foundational black Americans should be paying, should not be paying taxes. Foundational black Americans should not be having to work 10 times as hard as the average racial group when we built this country for free with our repayment. The average foundational black American should have between 10 million to 15 million dollars to their family for what we contributed to this country. Without us, it would be no country. And the dominant society knows that. And only a confident dominant society would be like, get those niggas the money. Why are we tripping about that? Just give them the money. We'll print more. Just give it to them. And once you give them that large sum, if they fuck up, they fuck up. But so many lower vibrating dominant society people are very, very nervous of giving us uh, reparations. You know why? Because they know what we're going to do with it. They know a lot of us are going to build businesses, build better communities, build homes, create generational wealth for their families. See, the word generational wealth isn't esoteric anymore. The word stock, bonds, 401k, mutual funds, IRAs, those are not esoteric words anymore. So the jig is up. And that's what the problem is. Every other racial group is fully aware that foundational black Americans have not only woken up, we will not fight anybody's battles but our own. That's why with the Israel and, and Palestine issue, we said that's not, we don't have a dog in that fight and that has nothing to do with us. So y'all got to figure it out on your own. And then when they tried to chastise us about getting involved in it, it ended up backfiring on them. Because the jig is up. The dominant side is like, oh shit, these motherfuckers is not playing that shit no more. No, this isn't the early 90s. No, that's not happening. This ain't the early 2000s where, yeah, 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 they for us. And then we look around and ain't nobody for us. We already know it's just us. Now we just have to keep it in motion. I could stand with my brother Eric Adams and not agree with his political views, but that's still our brother, and we have to understand when we're being attacked. Like I keep saying over and over again about Diddy. I do not agree with how he has treated our people. I don't agree with that. But I'm not going to sit up here and let a barrage of dominant society people take him off the chessboard because all of a sudden they don't like him. So that's not going to happen. We have to understand that. This is not just a, see, I just don't need to give, treat people like that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We need to understand where these attacks are coming from and why they're being done. Remember for a while I did a podcast, David, James, and Blood. Y'all remember Eric Ashani? Remember I did this podcast where I was like, bro, they are literally trying to destroy black marriages. And put that imagery on TV. Remember they was attacking Remy Ma and her dude and attacking every uh, Tiana. It seemed like they wanted to report every divorce of famous black couples. I said, oh, I know what they doing. They're trying to destroy black peace and solidarity. We got to take it back. Stop going on social media when you have issues with people and have conversations with people. Because your family have conversations with them. Don't go through social media. And don't put your business out there like that because sometimes it's not meant for you to do that because other people, they take pleasure and in, in, in get popcorn and have entertainment off your family struggle. And we have to start understanding where each other's perspectives are and we have to move forward as people, educate ourselves, each one tweet, teach 21 and let's stop doing the four wall effect. If we get around each other, let's come up with solutions. 
We know what the problem is. Let's let's embrace solutions. The problems gonna always be there. Go read that article on Eric Adams and see what the fuck that is. I mean, no article. I was like, man, what? And nobody thirty years ago, you like, yeah, man, because he he you know he t- he made me touch his dick, and it's, it's a man. Why didn't you get out the car and start screaming? Why didn't you say, oh my god, why'd you call nine one one right right then and there? Okay, all right. Well, go go read the article for yourself. I wasn't there. I don't know if you did it. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like there's an attack on black imagery and they are trying to destroy the little dignity and integrity that we have built for ourselves. They're trying to destroy it. But you know what? That's why we have to thank God that we have what's called information and we have what's called uh, Nilly Fuller Jr. and Dr. Francis Chris Wilson and Dr. Claude Anderson and Dr. Leonard Jeffries and all those wonderful authors that uh, and elders that David from No Compromise and James Jumbler talk about. And let's go research those people. And when we get a chance, let me tell you something. Me, David, and, and James Jumbler, we're going to definitely have a panel. Good looking out, Erica. My sis from Florida, she was like, man, y'all need to do like a panel or something like that. I'm like, man, we just got to get, we, we on like three different standard times, but we're going to get it, man. But, man, I appreciate everybody listening and subscribing, man. I just want to hit y'all over the head with that real quick. On your boy, Warren G, in the place to be. Been clown sucking free since 2003. Go check out the article for yourself. Don't take Warren's word for it. Go look it up. All right, then, man. I got nothing but love for y'all. Guilty, nigga. I'm out.